praise Him. I will praise Him. I will honor You. I will worship You with my whole heart, with my whole soul. Every child of God, praise the Lord. I will praise Him. I will praise Him. I will honor Him. I will worship Him with my whole heart, with my whole soul. Every child of God, praise the Lord. Good morning. God bless you. I welcome you specially to this beautiful Tuesday morning. By the grace of God, it's the 19th day of March, 2024. God has been so good and faithful to us. We return all the glory to his precious name forever. In the precious name of Jesus. I'm looking at 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And verse number three, the Bible says, And do I bestow all my goods to feed the poor? And do I give my body to be burned? And have not charity, it profited me nothing. Now, this verse is a little bit disturbing. Why? Because you will think or you would have thought that for anybody to get out of their way to do some certain things for others, uh, it should, dear, it should, for the most part, be motivated by love. Now, look at the extent at which this individual actually went. Say he gave all his goods. Can you imagine you waking up in the morning and you, uh, you went to work and you came back and you got your paycheck and you bought stuff for yourself, for your family, and year one, year two, year three, maybe at the seventh year. And you look back one day and something just prompted your heart to give everything you have ever labored for in real estate, in cash, to give it out to people. Definitely, you, you, you will agree with me that the only force that can move you to do that should be the force of love. But we have already this morning showing to us that there are some people that will engage in that massive show of charitable act, but yet not with the heart of charity. Mm. Look at the next one. <laughs> He said, do I give my body to be burned? Uh -uh. So which means people can give themselves a sacrifice for others. And yet the Bible is saying that it is still possible for people to do that without doing it in love. Then the question is, how possible is that? Hmm. In the midst of this question, the answer is not far-fetched. What will make people to go extra mile for others without the love of Christ being the center of it. A couple of the reasons I raised this morning, maybe one of them will touch you, and if it is, then the Lord is calling you to genuinely repent and start to act in love. Number one, people engage in charitable act, number one, is they live in America to escape the payment of taxes. Why? Because when you donate to charitable organization with the exemption that has exemption tax code, then everything you donated to that organization, uh, anything you've donated or anything you are going to donate to that organization, according to the U.S. government, you are not going to pay tax on that particular thing. So you can see people, they will go out and they will give 5 million, uh, 500,000. And you're like, my God, how come? It's because they want to evade the payment of taxes. So can you see that it's possible for you to give a lot and yet it's not motivated by love. Number two, people engage in massive show of a uh, charitable act because of show off. They want to show to people this is what they are doing. This is how much they are caring for others. This is what and what they are doing for their people. But yet it's not done in love. The Bible says all of those things will end up in nothing. Number three, why would people engage in charitable acts but yet not done in love because of force? Maybe you happen to be going to a church and they said to you, you want to feed the poor and within your heart you have grumbled. You have grumbled. Within your heart you have complained and complained. But just because you don't want to be the only odd one. Huh? Maybe you are sitting, you have four people on the seat and three people stood up <laughs> to go and give to the poor and you look at say that I, I don't want to be the only odd one here. So you just, you just force yourself to get up to go and engage in that. But it doesn't come from your heart. Everything I've explained this morning, with all that, that I'm here to explain, the Bible says, if it is not done in love, it profited you nothing. Like yesterday, the Bible says, they are noise makers. 
and we have a lot of people like that in our days, both in our political world and our religious world. You see people do something small and they will blow it up on social media for people to praise them. But in your heart, there's no love there. There are people that will engage in charitable work to buy the favor of single mothers so that by the time you throw your sexual advances on them, they will be seeing it as wickedness if they don't respond to your offers. What a world. No wonder the Bible says that if you must pity the poor, you must pity the widow, the orphan, it must be done in holiness. Huh? He said this is the true and perfect religion that you should visit the motherless uh, and the fatherless, respond to the widow and the poor, and to keep yourself unspotted. Why that emphasis? Because there are people that are doing it to buy favor. So by the time they begin to throw their sexual advances and begin to make some 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 ungodly demand, the beneficiaries say, we will not we not turn them down. This morning the Lord is calling us to repent. Let your act of love be genuine. Let your heart of love let it match your act of love. Can I repeat that? Let your act of love let it match your heart of love and the lord will bless you as you do so in jesus name thank you father for your word this morning holy spirit i pray you will drive this word to every heart and i pray you would speak to every heart and touch every heart that lord our response for men is for to be done purely in love of christ in the name of jesus i speak life and peace upon you go in peace this day be favored by god i seal you with the blood you are blessed and favored in Jesus' name, Amen.